Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time it's Zoe Weber with Sky Striker versus Zoloix with Eldritch Red Eyes. Um, actually never heard of this dude until like he like I saw him like do his little interview, and I looked him up on YouTube. He's got like over 100k subs, so I guess I should have heard of him. He's gonna use Insight. What is that? Like, I know it's foreign, but that kind of looks like rugs. I don't know. He's going to send Wyvern and then add Fusion. This could be hard for Striker to out. It's not like Striker's used to like playing against like Dragon Link and then like stopping their combos. Um, this isn't a combo. This is just Fusion. Um, maybe, like, she has, like, Ash Blossom. That could help out a lot. I guess we'll find out. I wish we got our match sealed. Like, I never got to play in, like, a remote duel, but, like, the European mats, like, come sealed. Like, when you guys enter tournaments. Or they used to, I don't know if they still do. But then, like, the US ones don't come sealed kind of whack um he's gonna send dark magician and red eyes pretty obvious bringing out dragoon it's a it's a pretty good card especially against like a control deck it's very good versus a control deck yeah summons a holy french name that is a long name or german or nah, i don't know what this dude is i don't know what that flag is to be honest So he's going to set a back row. Sets one and then passes. Oh no. Oh please no. Her camera is lagging. And looks like pixelated. I uh. I hope it's not like that. Or I'm not going to be able to upload this. Because I don't want to upload. Something where like one side just looks horrible. He really just read his own Dragoon. <laughs> he really just read his own Dragoon. You know, the time for reading is in testing before the tournament. Wild. Wild, wild. Uses multi-roll, that's good. And that could force out Dragoon. Um, whenever she uses the effect of it. If not, then he won't be able to respawn the spells for the rest of the turn. Um, str some striker players are still on Dark Ruler. I'm pretty sure most know that it's not worth playing. Um, she could be playing Red Eyes Package. I don't think she would be because they put the Red Eyes Package right here for him. So they'd probably do the same for her. Unless if they are counting his as a bigger Red Eyes Package because he's playing Insight and stuff. Uh, she might be playing like one or two Fusion and then the targets. But I don't know. I guess we'll find out. We've seen a whole bunch of different versions of the deck. Well... Like three different versions of the deck in the last couple months. Um, Sky Striker is not the easiest deck to pilot. Uh, obviously, combo is harder than not combo because when you mess up, it it affects you a lot more. But um, it's still like you still want to play Striker like perfectly. Activate an area zero. Then sets one, area zero on the set. He's gonna let that go through. Obviously, I mean, if he negates that, he is dumb. He's asking what it does. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Konami, Konami, Konami. You gotta let me come on the stream, man. Like, I'll come as a commentator. I'll come as a player. I'll even come as a judge. And I'm not even a judge. I'll do it all, but but like for real though, like my gameplay would would be nice, or my commentating would be nice too. I'd have like a commentating partner that'd be different, but that'd be fire having a commentating partner, someone to bounce ideas off of. I feel like it'd make it easier, and like my common mistakes I make sometimes, like they would catch it. 
No way they're still talking about Area Re Area Zero on the set. How do you not know what it does? They are... They just pull it out. They, they meant to, like, have it like that, then pull up multi-roll, but they messed up. He's ashing Area Zero! Oh, no! Oh, no, no, no! He could have ashed the Area Zero effect to summon. I I agree with that. But, like, he, yeah, I was gonna say, but, like, he would Dragoon negate multi-roll. Um... I guess it's worth if you have like a like an imperm maybe he gets rid of golden lord. Maybe he doesn't have like a Wakero or a conquistador or like any eldish. Oh, he's normal. I mean, not he. Sorry, she's normal summoning ray and the special summon. <gasps> yo 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 yo. Oh no way! <laughs> it's not a game, but no way. Yes, the Utopia double. Oh my goodness, it's been so long since we've seen this. This is actually cool. I thought this was going to be a lot more popular when Rose was coming out, because, like, more level 4 access easier, but then the format changed completely, and Utopia double just, like, was not good anymore. But, I mean, it outs Dragoon. <laughs> it, it, it does out it. It does out it. Um, I hope that this is battle phase and not main phase, because it'd play in the Valor if it was in main. Adds double or nothing. I want one of these made of myself. I feel like it would look really dumb, though. <laughs> I'd want my forehead huge, like, from, like, here up like his mustache level up make my forehead and then like my eyes right here you don't even have to put a mouth you can just have that it kind of looks like me uh brings out the utopia adds the double man man you guys gotta love this stuff this was popularized by jesse cotton but made by ryan you oh the double or nothing Oh, you love to see it. It's been so long. I wish it was game over that. That would have made it ten times better. But, uh, definitely not game. The monster has to be 2,000 or less attack for it to be game. And in this case, it's at 4,000, so he's going to be left at 6,000. Oh, imagine if he used Anaconda to bring that out, because then he'd have Anaconda on board. Minus 2,000. Would have been game. Could have been game over the Dragoon, anyways. Um... I mean, the Utopia is pretty strong sitting there. It's not like it can just get attacked over by Lord, which, like, awkwardly is coming up. He just wet, read his Wyvern. Oh, there's no way. And, like, he ashed Area Zero. Oh, my. Like, I get that they just wanted, like, some content creators on here, but... I don't know. Are, are content creators really not this competitive? I don't know, because, like, I'm more of a competitive player, so I don't I don't get how people don't like competitive stuff when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh!, but, I mean, there are some people that just like old format stuff and stuff like that, but I gotta respect it. He still has Wyvern during, like, end phase if he wants to. Um, still has Lord. He could... It looks like Zo has no cards in hand. Oh, yes, okay. Aw. <laughs> I was about to go over the bracket real quick. Okay, they just teased me by bringing it up and then taking it off. It's cool. I was going to see the bracket for you guys and show it. The whole left side is already done. Um, I don't know how many, of these, how many more of these top 16 things I'm going to do. I figured this would be a really cool one to show off because it had Sky Striker and Eldush in it. And I wasn't even expecting for any of the matches to not have Dragon Link in it. So this is, like, mind-blowing. No way he's reading Lord! Who lets these people in the tournaments? <laughs> he doesn't know what his cards do! Shark Cannon on Lord. That's pretty good. 
I mean, it's not like, oh man, like, that shark cannon, GG. <laughs> but I mean, it, it is pretty good there, I'm not gonna lie. Man, I, he keeps reading his own stuff. Like, I've read my own cards in a tournament before. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. Just to make sure of stuff, but... If you read it, like, five times... Like, there's just no way you know what that card does if you're reading it that many times. He's reading Wakero. He's reading Wakero. I can't do this. I can't do this, guys. <laughs> this is hard. This is, like... Oh, man. Is this what, like, low-rated is in real life? I just, I don't know, man. This is, like, real <laughs> low-rated in real life. It really is. It's actually kind of crazy. Okay. In general, if you haven't played the format, I don't even think Konami should offer you the position in the tournament. That's Konami's fault, not yours, because obviously as a content creator, you're going to agree to that. But, like, he <laughs> really doesn't know anything. <laughs> what? The Wakero sets it. <laughs> like, yeah, then Wyvern summon back. Um, I bet he messes up. <laughs> I bet you he summons Dragoon in attack. I bet you. I bet you. I bet you. I bet you. Like, at this point, <laughs> oh my goodness, give him a warning for being trash. <laughs> he summons an attack. <gasps> he summoned an attack. <laughs> hey, 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 buddy. <laughs> buddy. Oh no. Hey, buddy, Utopia has 5k. I, I'm not no math expert, but 3,000 minus 5,000 is 2,000, which puts you at zero. Why would you summon that and attack? This can't attack directly. It would be better for you not to summon Dragoon than it was for you to summon Dragoon. Bot, 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 bot. <sighs> Air Did she just area zero on Utopia? Oh my gosh, she's so lucky she missed. There's no way. There's no way this is happening. Like, she at, like, oh my goodness, the area zero miss just saved her. Like, I don't, I don't think she knows Utopia is at 5k or she would have just attacked. Because nothing stops it. Like, Scarlet is set, cool, doesn't do anything. Like, what hand trap stops you? No, uh, unless if she has like limital removal in hand or something like insane, they're just cutting the decks right now because he went into it for Scarlet. Holy, she's making or is she counting the deck? She's counting the deck. That, does that mean he has? Does that mean that she has Mystic Mind? He, well, you can't deck out Eldritch. That's an obvious. Please, please don't go for this. They spent the entire match before this talking about how good Zoe Weber, Zoe Weber was with Sky Striker, and I've never seen her play Sky Striker, so not gonna lie, it's kind of hyped to see some good Sky Striker gameplay. And 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 I saw Double or Nothing, I got really hyped. But she doesn't know that Utopia is at 5,000. Like, how do you not know that? Double or nothing doubles the attack, and then you double it again. So you just don't even know what Utopia double does. <gasps> oh, she's reading it. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, my goodness, yes. Oh, she's going to feel so blessed right here. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Read it one more time. Read it one more time. Come on, come on, come on. Get to the part where it stays doubled forever and can't attack directly. Like, that part of the card, in general, is where you want to be reading right now. Please. Oh, I thought that was an attack. 
Man, this is rough. This is this is playing with my feelings. It's so simple. Oh my gosh. Attack. <laughs> Please. You've spent three minutes. You've read the card twice. Attack. Attack. There's no way you're asking to see the grave. Please. Oh, yes, attack. It's, it's game. Like, how long do you have to take to think about that? <laughs> yes! Oh my goodness. Holy. <laughs> I have, like... Oh my. I don't think I've ever been, like, so hyped for a turn. Like... I'm actually sweating. <laughs> like, this is insane. Like, it's not even because, like, the scenario, like, the scenario itself was insane. But they played so bad that, like, it made it ten times more insane. Ten times more. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> like, oh my goodness, area zero on the Utopia that you should be using to attack for game, he lets it go through, you miss the area zero, and then you read the Utopia double twice, Utopia double, double means two, twice, same thing as two, conspiracy theory, I think not, and then she went battle phase and attack, that took like four minutes by the way, I was yelling at them for like four minutes. Holy. Huh. This is a this is a good match. You guys should have seen round two. If the stream didn't go down, and then like I was going to edit the video, and I went to go do that, and the format thing kept messing up, and the video looked bad, so I didn't upload it. But that Marcus guy that was playing Dino, <laughs> I think he was playing Dino. I don't remember what deck he was playing. But his name was Marcus. Round two, whew. Like, uh, good thing that video didn't get posted, because I came at that dude's neck, like, a thousand different times. He was like, he just kept messing up. I remember, it was game one, it was just over and over and over. I think I got the, like, four or five misplays turn one before I was just like, I can't do this. But, I, st I still kept recording, but too bad the video went down. It's like an hour's worth of recording for nothing, but... It happens, it happens. Made up for it with the round three hour and a half with a fifty minute judge call. Whew, that uh that that was that was ten times worse. I'd rather not go through that again. Um So other than that, like the match itself, Sky Striker versus Eldish is a really bad matchup for Eldish. Cause Shark Cannon is so good versus Lord. Um, I don't know if he's playing two or three Lord, cause it kind of seems like he's on pure Eldlish, and like his ability to build a deck could just be nut decking. Uh, no offense to him, uh, but he he seems less of a competitive player and more of a fun player, uh, since he doesn't really know what like any of the cards do in the meta game. So, his list is probably just playing three lords since he just, like, copied someone. I mean, if there's, like, a Team Samurai X build for this deck, it, it's probably his list. No offense to Team Sam either. <laughs> but, they are not the best lists. So, I don't know what that is. I feel like I've seen this little one before, and then that... That's a picture of, like, her and someone else. I've never gotten a token like one of these. I was going to at Worlds a long time ago, but I decided not to. Ash Desires. Because you have to wait in line for so long just to get a picture on a token. And, like, I already used a token with my picture on it. But it just doesn't say token. It's just a picture of me from, like, third grade. And normal summon ray. Set one. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, like, odds are game I got sided out. 
but very risky to play into Gamma. Because, like, if you just get Gamma'd here, like, that's way more of a possibility than Veiler on Shiz in main phase. Even if you get hit with Veiler on Shiz in main phase, you just turn it into Hayate in pass turn. And, like, Hayate in the extra monster zone isn't even bad. Um... Okay, so... Since they used... Since she used Desires, Double or Nothing's probably gone. Um... can assume that. Add Shark Cannon. She might have even sided it out. Because it's... Nah, nah. So it's, like an, it's an out to Dragoon, but... It's such a hard out to get the two level fours, like, through a negate. I feel like when that negate is untargetable, undestroyable, pretty much un-skystriker-able. Un like, they don't play, like, the World Chalice Link anymore. They play, uh, like, Access Code. She might not even be playing Access Code because she's playing the Utopia Package, or maybe she's playing both and just less Striker Links. No idea what the list is looking like. Activate Cursed. That's good. That is very strong. That is the best starter in the Eldritch Engine. Pretty, well, pretty, I mean, the only starter, really. I mean, like, Black Awakening is like a half starter. Same with Scarlet. I mean, even, like, this completely by itself doesn't even start the engine, but... Very good card in the opening hand. No way, like... <sighs> you have to describe what the card does? It's cursed. I, I don't know. Like, maybe they just have not been playing since Eldish came out, and they don't know what Eldish cards do. But... Like... In general, I feel like Eldish is like Eldish has been out for like so long now. It's like Oct it's October. Holy, um, six months. Yeah, like six months. Really, six months the cards have been out. You don't know what they do. Wild. And it's like, they haven't just been out for six months. They've been, like, they were meta for, like, five months. Like, heavily played at one point. Cursed Ad Lord. And I guess, like, if you don't know what the cards do, it is best to ask what they do. And it's not slow point, but it's going to be a huge advantage towards the striker player that both of them have to read the Eldritch cards, because you guys know... You guys know Striker in time. <gasps> Sanctum? Wait, why use it here? They might have used Lord on Sanctum and then you chain it. Unless if you're bringing out something crazy, you better be bringing out something absolutely wild. I can't even tell what that is, like, the screen's so laggy. That's, uh, that's Scythe. Yeah, that's gotta be Scythe. You can see, like, the, like, the legs on it, sort of. Yeah, 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 see, see. Um, yeah. So, I mean, nice, yeah. They can't fusion you now. Since you have started off with that, though, because what if they just activated fusion? <laughs> like, like, think about it. Like, what if they just activated Red Eyes Fusion? Then your Sanctum would be dead. Yeah, that was played poorly. He. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. He's using the effect. I. I thought he just normal summoned that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that would have been inexperience please tell me like do something with the don't leave it there it really does look like you're normal summoning this lord there's no reason it should be in the monster zone to activate the effect and there's a cost to the effect
So he's discarding evenly in Lord to send something. Please target, bro. You're gonna lose to time. He's asking what Shiz does? I might have to put top 16 remote dual invitational. Sky Striker versus Eldlish. Low rated DB Yu Gi Oh 2020. And this ain't even DB. My mind is just being blown. Like that Lord effect actually took a minute and a half. How does he expect to win this in time? Like. This is not good. Okay, so he, he resolved that, right? You have to add it to hand, and then summon a zombie from hand, so... Did that right for the camera, at least. And then Cursed Effect... I'm gonna drink some water. I've been yelling at these people the whole game. It's uh, it's cool seeing these too. I haven't really like seen these. Like I saw them in person like once for like five minutes, but haven't like actually like looked at the rarities. I know Lord because I ended up getting one of these. Sold it like a month ago. Attacking the shiz. I don't know how many spells are in the grave. I think it's just one, right? Because there's desires, ray, artifacts, sanctum, scythe, shiz in that order now. Well, ray's not in the grave now. And then set a whole bunch of back row. Use Wakero. They're sitting here saying like, oh, this is looking really good for uh, Solex, but... I think, in my opinion, this is this is looking decent for him. Decent at best. Not good. Decent. A good position would be like, I'm confident I'm gonna win this game. This is a uh, this is you shouldn't be confident about this one. Cause you can eyes easily get like Hayate poked for game right before time. And like being up 1-0 right before time and top cut with striker is actually nuts. And if she starts feeling like she might lose, she could scoop when there's like 3 minutes and 30 seconds left. Also, there should be no counter on that. The judges should be saying something about that. Um, yeah, it's definitely unprofessional when at when in tournaments in real life you can't have a die on a card with no counter because it's no taking but then in remote duels they allow them to do it to indicate lord effect gaining a thousand attack but nats 2019 they screamed at every single striker player for having a die on multi-roll because it technically doesn't have counters so i don't know man you gotta you gotta make one rule and stay with it. You can't just throw it back and forth just because like who is playing. It's kind of messed up. Man, this is like almost dead on. I don't I don't like this being here. This should be like here, like off the map. Conquistador. Like, I get distracted somewhat easily. So I feel like, like, if I had this on my own mat, that would definitely mess me up. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Is he popping with Conquistador or Okay, yeah, pops Hayate. Um Ooh, Mystic Mine. 
I mean, he's going to out it eventually. He either needs to let this go through quickly or negate it quickly. He needs to play faster. He needs to realize he's starting to, he's starting to throw pretty hard. Like, if she draws, I don't know, a Ray or Rose, or, yeah, just like one of He didn't, he didn't Scarlet! He didn't Scarlet during her end phase. He was supposed to Scarlet, bring out Ash, and then go into Omega, Scarlet set Conquistador. You have Omega, Conquistador, you can Omega after you Conquistador the Mystic Mine. It forces your opponent to start playing, so then you don't have to Conquistador the Mystic Mine. He's doing it a turn late. Oh. My gosh. Like, I'm sitting here saying, like, he needs to waste less time, and then he he wastes an entire turn. And he brings out another Lord, he doesn't even bring out Ash. This is rough. <laughs> like, actually rough. I, I apologize for you guys' eyes. I know you guys are subscribed to me for competitive content. But this is the top 16. <laughs> top 16. Draws for turn. I mean, like... Mistake Mine should already be out. The opponent should have been forced to play. This is just making it easier for a Ray or Rose to... Win. Like, not even, like, potentially make a comeback, but just straight up... <gasps> Beat the... Bah! Like, what are you doing? Uh, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Really? Like, you play? Do you play one conquistador in your list? Or duh, duh. <laughs> This match is actually blowing my mind. <laughs> Activate multi roll. <laughs> it's like he flips cosmic on multi roll. I would I would just flip my desk. <laughs> just take it and just boom, flip 360. Uses area 0. So, she's starting to realize that she needs to win and get a life point difference before time, which I respect. Especially because, I mean, the Mystic Mind should have already been gone. Like, eventually your opponent's gonna, is gonna sober up and realize that they need to out the Mystic Mind with Conquistador. And when that happens, you would just lose. Blood! <laughs> oh my! Yo! <laughs> oh my gosh! Ash on Area Zero is almost never a good play. Ashing on that area zero effect is like a good play. Oh my, I'm sorry if I'm yelling in your guys' ears and you gotta turn it down. I know I'm usually mellow, but like I'm I'm I stay true with my emotions and right now this is how I'm feeling. Like this is this is actually nuts. <sighs> <laughs> What is this? <laughs> this is this is not top sixteen. I'm still asleep. This is this is locals. This is this is a locals fun match. And <laughs> drunk. <laughs> oh my! You know I play this bad when like when I'm tired. Like I not this bad, but when I'm tired, I play horrible. I don't know why I said that. I just want to throw that one out there. Like, get a lot of sleep before a tournament. It honestly helps. A lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Like, get your whole sleep schedule fixed before a tournament. Uh, Zero brings out Ray. Even if you think it doesn't matter, if you get more sleep, you'll definitely see a change in your game. In a positive way. Then link away Ray into Hayate. Okay. Okay. Like seeing that. Like seeing that. Um. 
Um, is he thinking on summon? This is like, this attack is huge. Does it go through? Does it get hit with Imperm? Like an Imperm on that would be game because of how long it's taking for the battle phase. Um, like if on attack, he just goes activate Imperm on Hayate, then I don't see Zo winning this without like an Eagle Booster or something crazy. That works too. That works the same as Imperm would in this situation. Gets rid of Evenly to negate Hayate. And since he got rid of a trap, if this was like Judgment, it wouldn't be able to respond. Um, okay, so that's good because now she can't get the damage in. There's no way that she's getting in 1,100 in main phase 2 with Kaina. Like, uh, there's not It's not bad to play right there and try to, like, win with Hayate poke this turn. And then main phase 2 just, like, oh, Kaina effect on Lord. Kinda getting 100 life points, Shiz effect, I think what I'm gonna search, add, activate, multi roll. Cause it's not slow playing. You're playing at a normal speed, you just have a lot more plays to do afterwards. Um. Okay. Using Widow on Lord. Okay, so. Taking Lord, putting the token on board. Wasn't there like a, a placeholder? I think. I don't know. I think the I think the U.S. people had a placeholder for Lord, or like for like Widow Anchor stealing something. So, that is the Lord at two thousand five hundred. So they would crash and both die here. Yeah, so both of the lords get destroyed, so the lord that he put, like, over here should be sent to grave. Um. I don't see a way to ga go for game. I mean, like, if she had, like, the Dragoon package in her deck, like, she could have, like, popped the lords in main phase two. But that, that's really all I'm thinking. But, like, obviously she's not playing that with the Utopia package in the deck already. You too many bricks, too much extra X spots. Her side is lagging right here and it's not moving. His side's still moving, so hopefully it doesn't go down. Oh no, she's moving. Just sitting still. Fair enough. Um So she's thinking here. She has to be able to do one thousand one hundred damage this turn. Already in the battle phase. Um, a shark cannon here would, huh, like, okay, he, so he wins this game, they're just asking for some clarification, I wonder what that set was. So, moving on to game three. I think it's obvious. Um, Striker has the advantage. Red Eyes, Eldush, does have Dragoon, which can burn for damage. Which we might see come up to. Like an Ash on Red Eyes Fusion would probably be enough for game. Um, wouldn't it surprise me if Striker chose to go second here, just so that way they get an extra turn to attack with Hayate. Um, 
Okay, so they're just cutting the deck right now. And then she rolls a four. They have to roll for game three, by the way. He rolled, I think that's a one. I don't know his dice, but I think that's a one. Um, but yeah, they're going into game three, and they're already in time. So the dice gets rolled to decide who chooses. And it's looking like Zoe is going first. By the way, that she's looking at her hand. Yeah. Oh! Ooh! 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 ooh. Upstart! Upstart in time is scary. <laughs> that is. That is risky. Very risky, very scary. Set two back row pass turn. Oh, no Ray, no Rose. And then Extravagance. That's gonna banish six. The sleeves are crazy. Some OCG sleeves. I think. Yeah, you can see like, see like the link arrows on them. So it's definitely OCG Yu-Gi-Oh. It's not like a different card game or something. You know, if you look close, you can like see Konami. But he draws two off of Extravagance. Now, he is going to have seven in hand to try to do damage. He doesn't even have to do damage. He could just stop her from trying to do damage, too, at this point. The fusion is so good here. He has, or she has to ash the red eyes fusion. She has to have it. She would have had to save it past extravagance just to hit fusion. And I think it was, like, obvious to hold for fusion like you don't want to use on extravagance because then they could just activate fusion but not a lot of ways to do damage if you just ash fusion they have to have like cursed to get the lord this turn or like just hard draw lord um he already has fusion because he's adding it's like the spirit of the red eyes i forget its exact name i know it's like spirit something I'm just special summons a red eyes from grave Not a not a very good card. It just like makes the red eyes engine bigger and more bricky too. He's gonna use fusion. Ooh, she's thinking about responding. Judgment? Oh no. It's not good. You can't, like... Striker can't put up 5,000 damage. Yeah. Dang, yeah. Striker can't do 5,000 damage. I think he's asking, does it negate the activation? So he's going to activate another one. Yeah, I mean, it's judgment. Like, obviously it negates the activation, but if she had to read that and he was asking that, then it was, like, obvious that he had another one. He gets rid of the Red Eyes B-Dragon. He has, like, four Red Eyes cards in his hand, by the way. Send Dark Magician. Summon out Dragoon. Then the question is, does... Zul have any spell or monster effect or something that he could just instantly activate to discard to negate with Dragoon to make his monster gain a thousand. Um, like, uh, like activate cursed, Dragoon negate, that'd be game. It's gonna attack for 3,000. It's too big of a difference. It's 8,000 life points. Striker has one turn. They have to play through negates, and they weren't able to do anything the turn before. It's too much. 
it's not even gonna be game like just like with time here like it would actually be game like he'd win this game This is not oh driver in the opening hand. Driver oh open cosmic upstart and judgment in time. Oh my wait. Okay, no. I don't know why that 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 one spell for a second looked kind of blue to me like a like a link, but. Could just be a spell and I'm just seeing it wrong. Like that side of like the field was kind of blurry that match. But um that's gonna be it for the video. It it felt very long. And um I guess uh no I mean this this feel this feels kind of like weird to say after this match, but but no hate towards the people in the videos. Uh it's not yeah, it's a, it's just me making fun of the gameplay. So don't, don't take it seriously if you see this. Um, even though I might have said like you're bad a few times, like I was just uh, I was just talking about this match. <laughs> this match you guys happen to have uh, played poorly. That's a that's a good word for it. Very poorly. But um, yep, that's gonna be it for the match. Like, comment, and subscribe. The DB Grinder, signing off. Peace.